honoring the 150th birthday celebration of our beloved founder, Bishop Charles Harrison Mason. There are several items, including the prayer shawl, and there's an exclusive recording of Bishop Mason that was just released by the Bishop A.T. Moore Library. And it's a special recording of messages and services of our beloved founder, and that was just released by the Bishop A.T. Moore Library, and it can be found in the, the vendor's area. There are other items such as books, videos, umbrellas, even luggage tags, a number of commemorative items celebrating the 150th birthday of our founder. Also, we want to remind you that in the Kojic Exchange, you can find CDs and videos of all of the services that have been conducted during this week. We ask that you continue to support the, the vendors as they are helping to support our meeting. Tonight at 5.30, this evening at 5.30, in this room will be YPWW, Young People's Willing Workers, will be held tonight at 5.30 in this auditorium. How many of you grew up in Church of God in Christ, YPWW? Six o'clock usually in the evening, but tonight is going to be 5.30 here. And tonight, history will be made as our presiding bishop and members of the general board will be consecrating 40 men to the sacred office of bishop in the Church of God in Christ. That service will begin promptly at 7.30. We're asking that you please be in place before 7.30 that we may begin. God bless you. Thank you so very, very much. I want to encourage all of us, again, concerning our CDs and uh, DVDs, take this back home and let it bless your church and let it bless the ministry where you are. May the Lord bless you. We're moving on now to the C.H. Mason Memorial Choir and uh, the Ministry of Music, Worship, and Arts uh, will be coming to us now and they're gonna bless our hearts in the continuation of worship and music. Shall we say amen for them? Christ is so excited to present to you the C.H. Mason Heritage Recording remembering Bishop Mason's 150th birthday. We have a live CD that you can purchase from Kojic Exchange. You can download it, you can Google it, but it's available and it will bless your heart. It's going to be featuring some of the most phenomenal songs of the he Mason's heritage, as well as some of the phenomenal songs that of today. Even coming right now, we're going to feature one of the most powerful songs I believe that's out right now. And the reason why it's powerful is because it's entitled, This is the Church of God in Christ. I want you to receive the great-granddaughter of Bishop Charles Harrison Mason. She's coming right now, Sister Jamel Jones. This is the Church of God in Christ, a Yes Lord Church. My great-grandfather, the Apostle Charles Harrison Mason, founded this church on the principles of holiness, sanctification, righteousness, and consecration. We, the Church of God in Christ, believe in the sanctified power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is and able to live a holy and separated life in this present world. This church has been ordained by God to be a beacon of light to this wayward society. We have been called to 
you glad to be a part of the church of God in Christ? I'm in the church of God in Christ. Bishop Edwin C. Bass, the director of Kojic Urban Initiatives, will come at this time. I want you to give him a hand. He's been working so hard. God bless you, Bishop. God bless. Thank you for thanking the Lord for the wonderful leadership of the church of God in Christ. I'll be very brief, and I have a very brief video to show you. Tragic events throughout the nation emphasize the importance of having a robust urban initiatives department at the state, district, and local church level that will save lives and improve the quality of life for those that live in the cities where we minister. Urban Initiatives, the genius of presiding Bishop Charles Blake, as you know, focuses on five key areas. Those areas are education, economic development, crime reduction, strengthening the family and financial literacy. We're making uh, tremendous progress toward the goal of having each one of our 12,000 churches offering at least one program in each of those five categories. When a church documents participation in all five areas, they become designated as a Kojic Urban Initiatives certified church. Thank God that during this holy convocation, an additional one, uh, 41 churches received their certificate of, of uh, certification. Here's what that certificate of certification looks like. And we would like to have this posted in every church throughout the country. As we begin to collect the information through the certification process, it strengthens our ability to go out to financial sources and gain needed funds. This week, during the convocation, we offered classes that provided very detailed information on several programs that are in our toolkit. Last week, we certified our first Kojic Urban Initiatives College chapter. I was in Tyler, Texas at Jarvis College, and they became our first certified campus ministry for urban initiatives. We're beginning now to reach out to college campuses throughout the United States. Incidentally, while I was there the night before the certification ceremony, we had a revival, and the coach of the baseball team at Jarvis University came up and got saved, along with 20 members of the baseball team. Today, I want to show you a brief two-minute video that highlights one of the programs that we're offering. It's called Boss the Movement, and it was created by Elle and Hattie Hollingsworth. Let's look at the tape. Please do not give up on you. We are crying out. We need help. We need help. We need help. But I, I, I am sorry.
the Garfield Heights High School senior, one of the top college recruits in the country. Change the thinking in a child. You change a man's destiny and circumstances. Boss is a global Christian leadership, motivation, kingdompreneur, training curriculum. Youth are trained in three four-year cycles over a 12-year period. Once a week, two hours, for 20 weeks per year. Nine. Plus nine. Acknowledging the office for making two hours in seven. Plus seven. All my new lesson class below ten. Plus ten. To be a true success in the game for God. And guess what? We're all over the world. even provide you with training DVD. We also provide you with online video training support. Speaking of online support, everything you need is on TakeAVerticalLeap.com. We even have a university online. To top that, we also provide real-time webinars. Exciting, isn't it? Well, our partners seem to think so. Just so happened to be the youngest child of Martin Luther King Jr. I have to go back to him because I believe in many ways the boss, the movement program uh, has a connection back into what God was doing through the uh, civil rights movement. And I bless God for the fact that West Angeles has been a partner with the boss movement for many, many years. Call or text the word boss to 702-830-7411, 702-830-7411. Boss the Movement is just one of the many, many programs that are offered through Kojic Urban Initiatives. In my final moment, I just want to encourage each of you to get actively involved in your jurisdiction, in the national meetings that we have. We have wonderful classes that will enable you to reach your community. How many know that we're living in a deeply distressed and troubled world? And Urban Initiatives is well positioned by the design of our presiding bishop to make a difference where you, pastor, where you are member, where you are the bishop. God bless you. Let's make it happen. Thank you so very much. At this time, without any further delay, I want to ask that the first assistant presiding bishop would come and lead us further in worship and prepare our hearts for what God will give to us today. Would you receive the gentleman from Detroit? We all love him so very, very much and glad to see him here. Bishop Blake calls him the comeback bishop. Would you receive Bishop P.A. Brooks? Thank you, Bishop Macklin. Can we all give Jesus some more praise? His Eminence, our presiding bishop and chief apostle, Charles Edward Blake, to his lovely companion, Lady Blake. God bless our supervisor of the Department of Women, Mother Rivers. God bless our second assistant presiding bishop, the Bishop Jerry Macklin and his companion. Distinguished members of the General Board, Bishop John Sheard in the College of Bishops, our General Assembly Chairman, the Bishop-designate James Hunt. God bless the Judiciary Board, Elder Thomas Jackson, the Pastors and Elders Council Chairman, Administrative Assistant Michael Eady, visiting bishops and fellow delegates, and our television and online audience around the world. These are particularly troubling times, whether it is the dysfunction of urban communities or international conflicts. It is an increasingly dangerous world of economic uncertainties that are reshaping the American landscape. Our world is experiencing a rupturing of its core beliefs and the church either confronted with dealing with these matters or risk being considered irrelevant. It has been said that the future belongs to those who give the next generation hope. The Church of God in Christ is positioned as a movement to make an impact on the landscape of the entire globe. While the world seeks answers to the complexities of life, we are blessed to have a leader who understands firsthand the challenges of these contemporary times. As one of America's premier preachers, he is being presented to you as we sat in expectation 
to receive from the reservoir of his wisdom and his experience and deep spiritual fervor as he speaks the prophetic word to this vast audience today. My brothers and sisters, Bishop Charles Edward Blake is respected as the quintessential voice of Pentecostalism throughout the world. It is my esteemed pleasure following the selection by the choir and special solo, we will stand and receive the chief apostle of the more than six and a half million member Church of God in Christ in more than 60 foreign countries, our chief apostle and presiding bishop, his eminence, the Bishop Charles Edward Blake, the seventh in succession. Let's just praise God as the choir comes at this time. This is the Church of God in Christ. And this church is resplendent with many gifts, talents, and anointings. And this morning, along with the C.H. Mason Memorial Choir, would you help me to welcome Lady Audrey Dubois Harris, a lyrical soprano that has the ability to touch heaven with her wonderful gift. Would you please put your hands together as we prepare for the Word of God, Lady Audrey Dubois Harris. Lord, how excellent you are. There is none like you in all the world. In all of your glory, your splendor and majesty, you still remember even me. You hear and answer every prayer. You make ways out of no ways. You deliver me and you bring me through. And as long as I live, I shall praise you. So if ever I love thee, ah, oh, if ever I love thee, my Jesus, it's now.
my Jesus, tis now. At those critical moments in my life, you've always stepped in and performed a miracle. Step in today.